Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends with Blazing Corp. We are continuing our Brogni series uh, here. We are going to be doing each and every one of the dungeons uh, there as we are building him up uh, there into a, you know, clan boss champion, uh, hopefully, uh, there. And we are going to be facing the Ice Golem next. <laughs> Alright, we are here. Uh, let's look at our champions real quick. So we got uh, we got Bad Alcazar and our uh, Iron Brago team uh, kind of put together. Uh, we've got three of the last uh, fusions. Uh, actually, I guess uh, three of the last four fusions uh, here uh, right now. And, um, you know, these guys are fantastic. I do got to say uh, they're on that end. Um, in this particular run, we put in, like, you could substitute if you don't have, um, Doom Priest, um, so the Drakes if you wanted to. I just put Doom Priest in, uh, just, you know, for that final stage. She can clear off, uh, you know, most, uh, if any of the debuffs that do get on, she can clear those off, uh, there. So we kind of have two cleansers in this group. Let's look at the stats real quick. Uh, so you can see here what we're running, perception, speed, and a broken set. Uh, here, bad L, you know, 53,000, 19, 23 defense, uh, 2300 defense, uh, 2, 34 speed, uh, 96, and 100 crit rate and crit damage respectively, and then 233 each on resistance and accuracy. Uh, here, so a true mid-gamer build. Uh, there are things you can do, uh, you know, as you get six stars uh, for almost everything. Uh, there is build out more speed and build out more uh, defense uh, there and resistance and accuracy. All right, so Astralon, love Astralon, he's amazing. Uh, here, uh, Savage Gear with speed. Uh, his total stats 22, sorry, 32,000, 3,700 attack. Uh, 1500 defense, uh, 196 uh, there, 106 crit rate, crit damage 196, uh, 216 accuracy, 67 resistance. Definitely, uh, you can up, you know, if you want to go that end game build, you know, up your crit damage, up your, up the uh, attack uh, there, and definitely up the uh, resistance and accuracy. Uh, we've got Iron Brago uh, defense. Accuracy, speed, sets uh, there. Uh, we've got 35,000 hit points, um, 4,300 for defense, 183 speed, crit rate at 99, crit damage 114, 91 resistance, 204 accuracy, uh, so we can land some of his debuffs and his provokes uh, there. Uh, we got Doom Priest next. Ooh. Oh. Doom Priest next. Uh, so broken, broken set. Uh, pretty much everything broken set. Uh, you know, just to get her stats uh, there, and then a resistance set on her. Uh, so 45,000 hit points. Attack 22,000 or 2200, uh, 2,000 defense. 184 speed. 108 crit. 120 or 119 crit damage. 107 resistance and non-existent accuracy because she does nothing that needs accuracy uh, there. So don't put any on her. And then last but not least, uh, where is he? Here he is. Our not fully built out, but uh, on, a, on his way uh, there uh, under Priest Brogni. Uh, goal is to get him as beefy as possible. So 100,000, we want to get him to hit points uh, there uh, and keep him in a stun set. So that's going to require a lot of work, uh, but we'll do the work uh, here. And then we'll put on uh, some HP, Ooh. HP necklace and banner uh, with speed kickers. All right, so 40,000 right now hit points, attack uh, 1,000. Uh, 1400 defense, 174 speed, uh, non-existent crit rate and crit damage. Uh, they're not important to his build. 
and then uh, resistance 154 definitely want to build that out as much as possible and then still get some accuracy in there all right let's uh let's run this uh thing here all right so uh we're rolling in uh, here um do remember we're going to be getting uh, level 21 to 25 dungeons soon so do put together those teams without the enemy max hp really important that you try them out uh, there um so if you've been watching my channel you know i love sustain team so this is an, this is definitely a sustain team all champions that you could have gotten during free to play uh, here all your fusion champions are free to play do not get it twisted uh, there if you save your stuff you can get every single fusion free to play uh, there so very important uh, you know that i note that uh, on this end now doom priest and battle kazar that was just good pulls uh, here i can't uh, can't say those weren't good pulls because they were but I'm sure anyone who's looking, who's had uh, pulls for Legendary, have had some luck uh, here or there, right? So, um, you know, people you can uh, replace Bad L with, uh, Reliquary Tender or Apothecary uh, there. And then, uh, as I mentioned, you can do Silo the Drakes, who is a free-to-play champion uh, there uh, on for Doom Priest. Now, ooh, that was a little concerning there because uh, we allowed these guys to get reflect damage out, which is not fun uh, there. But uh, luckily, we've got a ton of heals and uh, we've got shields and stuff up. So shouldn't be too hard to finish this. So good. And now on to the boss. So main thing here, at least our guys, unlike uh, in some other stages uh, here, Under Priest Brogni is really cool here because uh, he has a chance with his masteries to not only stun uh, there, uh, but also put a leech out. So that provides quite a bit of heals uh, there. If he, if he hits a stun, he can also hit a leech. Uh, there, we're just going to keep everyone topped up real nice. Not on the main boss, obviously, but on the ads uh, here. So he's really good for places that have ads uh, there. And uh, haven't tested him out in Spider yet, but uh, we will test him out in Spider and see how he does. All right. Yeah, he's an interesting character. Like, uh, this team works really well. Uh, you know, tons of defense uh, here with Iron Brago adding extra defense to whoever is a little low. Uh, plus, the ability to put a three turn increase, 60% increase defense is insane uh, there. So, you know, he's generally adding uh, there, you know, about 800 to 1,000. Uh, defense to each person that he's running with which is just insane amounts of defense uh, there uh, obviously we got the two cleansers in bad L and doom priest and then we got our shield kind of sustained champion uh, there in under priest brogni uh, who also has heals uh, there whenever the shield is hit there so long as the shield stays up it looks like but the reflect damage is pretty nice uh, on that. So it gives that nice little passive kind of damage there. See, look at all that. Look at all those ticks that just happened uh, there just because uh, we took a hit. So that was pretty sweet. Now, I wonder if I was to build out Brogni with Giant Slayer, if he would have a chance to hit Giant Slayer multiple times with the reflect damage. Uh, there we probably would uh, considering it's on each hit uh, there so that would be pretty vicious uh, to see happen uh, there on that end but I don't plan on building him out uh, there with any attack uh, masteries but you never know um, yeah, I might do it just for clan boss 
there. So yeah, we'll we'll have to see how how that works out. But yeah, pretty uh, pretty decent run. You know, pretty fast. Uh, if you're at four minutes and forty seconds there, um, not bad at all. Uh, so HP, can we use this on Brogni? If this was a six star and it had speed and crit, then crit rate, uh, possibly. But uh, with the way this is laid out, as a hard pass, no thank you. All right, so that's it for this one. Now we will be back either with Fire Knight or Spider next. Uh, there we'll see which one uh, we can kind of build out a team for uh, with Brogni in it, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe. Let's chat then.